for all you guys with great big man hands and wearing gloves all day long, the Grande is where it's at. Check out this video for a rundown of everything that makes the Grande Grande. <laughs> Okay, so the Grande we designed with our good buddy Kyle Stop and Horse of RR Buildings, and we've actually come out with a second updated version this year. I want to walk through all the features of this. So the Grande comes on our six inch belt. As usual, check out our video on belt sizing to make sure you get the right uh, size of belt. And then from there, we go to the mule pouch. So the mule is, you can see we've got a different shape on this pouch, so it's going to be much more open and I've got tool pouches or tool slots around the lip of the main pocket as well as back here against the body. So I've got my pry bar here and then I've got a knife, a chisel in some of these slots around the outside. I've got a generous place here to put a marker, my nail set. Got this big pocket, I just got a tape tossed in there or excuse me, a chalk. And then on the back I've got a tool slot that fits this torpedo. Up here on our top pocket, we actually added a 4-bit bit index up here, so all of those small uh, T15, T25, T35s, you can put those right here, keep them nice and close. Maybe a couple of screws in this top pocket as well. And of course, we got the hammer holster. Check out our video to learn a little bit more about the hammer holster specifically. On the left side, or non-dominant side, the Ox comes with a special tape uh, holder. This one will hold this 35 Fat Max comfortably. These pouches, or this setup, is really meant for um, timber framing, uh, large scale framing, commercial work, uh, metal fab, uh, you know, steel work, metal work, uh, as well as concrete form work. So it's for not a lot of tools, but very big tools, uh, concrete work where you're gonna be wearing gloves all the time so you can get your hands in these great big pockets. Just to show you how big these pockets are, I've got this M18 impact driver just drops right down in the ox pouch. I can carry it there or over here on the uh, dominant side where I have my typical pencil pocket. I've also got this spot here where I can hang a tool here or one of our Diamondback accessories just to add a little more organization to the pouch. Uh, I've got a speed square slot here on the non-dominant side as well as we added a second uh, div or a divider in the second pocket for the mini squares. They've become really popular lately so we wanted to react to that and then I've got this pocket. Typical uh, knife and pencil holders up here on the front on the non-dominant side. And then on the back, I've got another tool loop. I've got my cat's paw in there right now. So again, you're gonna have a lot of uh, storage capacity in these bags. They're very large. Uh, we added some uh, organization to the mule uh, with the bit index and some of these extra tool slots. We added the divider over here in the smaller pocket on the ox. If you want to make this uh, pouch a little bit bigger or this setup a little bit bigger, you can add a 722, which is basically one of these same pockets. You can just add another one cascading down. Gives you a little bit more uh, capacity for fasteners. Uh, you can always add a DB sack uh, if you want to carry an extra type of fastener that you're not carrying every day where you can clip it on take it off. But uh, again, this is our largest setup in terms of openness, big, great big uh, pouches. You're gonna have more uh, organization than you had on the older Grande, so I'd say it's getting closer to where the Denali and the Artisan are. Um, and in terms of overall volume, this thing is just pretty much huge. So uh, if you've heard anything about Diamondbacks being a little tight, can't get your hands in them, uh, just remember that all of our pouches are designed for specific uses and specific carries. The Grande is the option for if you really want big open uh, pockets, you're carrying a lot of loose fasteners or big clunky gear. Uh, if you've got more strip fasteners, you can move down to a Denali or an Artisan that are going to have a, a smaller set of pockets and not quite as open. But hey, that's the Grande. That's who should buy the Grande. That's why you should buy the Grande if you're in that type of work. So check it out and go on our website to learn more. You can always send us a DM. You can send us a Facebook message. You can get us on chat. You can email us. You can call us on the telephone. You can show up in our shop learn everything you need to know about Diamondback because we want to get you in the best setup for you. Have a great day, everybody.